Hello and welcome to day six of the Corona blog. The aims are to learn some English, escape from the daily routine and to see Italy, the situation from the outside in and we're going to look from the inside out. My name is Mark Brophy. This is some background information and a little bit more personal information. Today we're going to look at social distancing. This is the nice new word, the buzzword, the trendy word we're using in England and America and Australia, social distancing. The question is, how far? In the USA, people are being told they've got to stay six feet apart. How far is six feet? Exactly. Six feet, one, two, three, four, five, six. One foot is 12 inches, or that's exactly 30.48 centimeters. So six, oh, it's my, or how far is six feet? For petrol heads, those are people who love cars, it's about the width of a mid-size American car. So that's six feet. Another possibility for dog lovers, it's two golden retrievers. Another possibility, number three, for Brianzoli, I live in the province of Monza Brianza. People who live in Monza Brianza are called Brianzoli. They like to think of things in terms of furniture. So six foot is more or less the height of a door. Not quite, but nearly. Just gives you an idea. The last one we're going to look at is in Canada. Imagine you're in Canada. Well, six foot is more or less the width of a moose's antlers. That's a moose. Today, I want to look at Lombardy and New York. Okay, so Lombardy is the region of Italy where I live, where Monza is, and where obviously where Milan is. As most people now in the world know, this is where in Italy, so more or less in Europe, the, the coronavirus first, we say, took hold, first started. It's the most developed business area of Italy. And so it's the New York of Italy. On the 14th of March, um, we had already been uh, locked down in Lombardy for about two weeks. And the government was thinking of extending this to the rest of the country. On Saturday the 14th of March, they announced it, the extension. The plan was leaked. Leaked means communicated, but nobody wanted to communicate. Think of WikiLeaks. WikiLeaks is leak, so it's when the information comes out. Okay. The plan was leaked on Saturday. So what happened? Everybody who works and temporarily resides in Lombardy but has friends, relatives, or originates from another area, decided to flee. Okay. The president of Puglia was not so happy because he saw all of these people, even though maybe most of them originally came from his region, he saw these returning people as carrying the virus with them into the lungs. The lungs are what we use to breathe with. So the lungs is the key area of the body for coronavirus. His opinion was quite wrong. Lombardy, New York. Over 50% as we speak today, maybe it will change, but at the moment over 50% of the cases in all of the USA are sent in the state of New York, mainly in the city. Last weekend, we, many people started leaving New York, so we can see history repeating itself. Uh, we, here we have the verb to soar, which we saw a couple of days ago. To soar means to increase rapidly. Birds soar, the eagle soars. Here we had yesterday in the press, uh, the director of the National Institute of Allergy and Diseases. This is what he said. OK, so anybody who leaves New York, like people left Lombardy, going to other areas of the state should go into self-quarantine for 14 days. OK, they are seeding, seeding, putting little seeds. They are starting the beginning of the growth of the virus in other areas. OK, today, key people. 
as many of you probably know, the heir to the throne, the heir, we do not pronounce the H, the heir is the next person to become, okay? So the heir to the throne, Prince Charles, he's 71. He's in that critical age group. Why is he in the news? Well, he's got the virus. This was announced on the 25th of March, but he's a prince. Did he get special treatment? We have been told that the prince remains in good health. He's staying in the castle in Balmoral in Scotland. Why are people in the UK or some people not happy about this? Are they upset that their future king is ill? No, they're worried he's getting preferential treatment. So they want Prince Charles to be treated like a normal citizen. Or maybe we should use the word subject, not citizen. Really. Uh, generally, this is the guidelines in the UK, generally you'll only be tested for COVID-19 if you have a serious illness that requires admission to hospital. That's the rule in the UK. So, a little bit here, we're saying, did he get special treatment? This is the opinion of one of the top journalists in the BBC who's based in, uh, who's based in Scotland. So, it's quite clear. Some people think Prince Charles got preferential treatment. People's next question is, what about the Queen? She's 93. She's really in that critical age. She hasn't seen Prince Charles since the 12th of March. So that's 12th of March, 2014, 13, 14 days, more or less the incubation period. She hasn't, she's not going to catch it from Charles. According to the Daily Mail, a popular newspaper in England, the Queen is in virtual self-isolation with only eight staff to look after her and her dogs and her horse, etc. Okay, that's all for today. So, quick summary. We've looked at social distancing. One foot, 30 centimetres, six feet. That's my height. Or it's a range of other options. A car, a door, uh, two dogs or the, the antlers of a moose. We've looked at the similarity between New York and Lombardy and also the similarity of the movement of people out of these two centres which are critical in their respective countries and we've looked at the key person for today who is Prince Charles. Thank you very much and see you tomorrow.